Moving on. New Masterdal ban list. And oh my goodness, it's a big... It's a biggie. It's actually a really good list. Uh, uh, we've been teased kind of the last few times with some really shitty lists, I think, which is some minor changes. But also, you have to think in the long run, we've been kind of spoiled with updates every single month, right? Um, but to have this one, this is definitely going to be a game changer, finally. Let's go over it. Let's talk about it a little bit. Um, this is going to be updated September 1st, and I can't wait. I cannot wait. On the Forbidden section, cards being removed from the game is wrong. A mini ad. Thank God. Agito. Bish Balkan, Block Dragon, and Tier Laments, Murley. Why is Agito forbidden over Kelbeck, which is put to one? I don't know. <clears throat> Excuse me, ow. <clears throat> I don't know. But it is. But it is. And that's fine, you know. Um, I think these are hits good. Uh, Bish Balkan, anything that is just like... Uh, an FTK, I think, is great to remove from the game, especially in best of one scenarios. They're incredibly frustrating to play against, right? Like, like incredibly frustrating to play against, um, because you really you don't get the chance to to do the game two and three, where you just say fuck you to your FTK strategy. You side in the correct cards, and you never lose. That's why they're not good in the actual game, but they're they they seem good in a limited section where you're only doing a best of one. So removing these cards from the game, thank God, bro. Oh my God. Agito is just, like, the only one where I think, like, it's because of his intimidating aura look. I mean, he does look pretty... He does look way cooler than Kalbeck, I will say. A little tough, bro. Block Dragon is also gone, thank God. I, I, I think that also the Adam Mancipator deck is really frustrating to play against because it is really just the Maxi Mania game. This is one of those decks that can't really exist in a best-of-three format with Maxi around, right? Oh, I think, you know, the OCG has always been a good deck, but it's one of those decks where uh, it, it, where you're like, did I open the Maxi? No? Okay, I've lost the game. Did I open the Maxi? Yes. Does it resolve? No? Okay, I've lost the game. Does the, uh, the Maxi activate and resolve? Great, I've won. <laughs> That's what it always came down to, and I, I hate that deck. I actually hate the Block Dragon deck because um, it's one of those decks that just, ugh. the board setup is so frustrating to out. I don't like the Fossil Dino boards. So thank God it's gone. I've seen a lot of people frustrated about this, but I don't know why. I, I, I think this deck is just incredibly frustrating to play against. I think Destin Coder talked to Konami and wanted Bish Balkan ban. Eh, you, you know what? He is a complainer, bro. Konami wouldn't would listen to a band guy, right? Merly banned is actually a huge deal. Merly was at two before, and Merly is actually the most modal tier limits name, I think. It's one of the better normal summons, being able to just mill three off the top of your deck. But also, it being a level two is access to it through Sprind, which single-handedly made it uh, the deck more consistent, right? Consistently having access to a name like this. Um, this being banned not only removes a name from the pool, so now we're down to three tier limit names that can actually be um, used total. Two of them are actually only being fusers. You know, Rhino Heart's not a fuser. Um, that's a huge deal. That is a really big deal. I think tier limits as it stands, what is it? They got Terraforming Band, Selayuk to one. They got Kick Kolos at one. They also have um, Merly Band. That's a lot. Agido's Band, Kelbex at one. And the Shufflers are at one. That's kind of like actually nuts. And Instant Fusion Band too, exactly. Yeah, so that's, that's kind of nuts. The havoc that tier limits has caused on the game. But, I don't know. Should we be cautious? Fuji says we should, man. The best deck in Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel is still Tier Limit. Do we believe him? I could. I could. I don't know. Other cards. Branded Fusion to one is fine. I actually really hate playing against this deck, so personally I'm okay with this. I know probably there's a lot of branded fans out there, but I really don't like this deck. Um, I just don't particularly find it fun to play against. Um, that grass looks greener is at one also. It's another one of those games where I think it's very frustrating to play in a best of one because especially if they open the two of at the time in their 60 card deck, you feel like, wow, like I just got super unlucky. I didn't lose that game because I didn't play good. It's my opponent got to mill 40 cards off the top of their deck because they drew the two of. Um, so I'm glad that this card's at one and hopefully eliminates those 60 card deck strategies. I do like, I like the card in the capsule, right? Like, Grass is Greener's design is super awesome that you are able to, like, see deck kind of theory morph and you're able to see these strategies with 60 cards become viable. But then it's all the cards around Grass, right? When you start releasing these dumb cards with graveyard effects, cards like Fairy Tale Snow and stuff like that that are highly abusable with it, it's that you really feel the cards, like, unfair. I love what it does in the game with the theory of it, but in execution, it always ends up terrible. It always ends up terrible. At one, I fully expect it to be completely removed from people's radar. 
Calbex at one, which is, again, another hit that's fine. This is a hand trap, so I, I'm glad they at least gave you one of the more um, flexible sort of cards uh, of the Millers, having Calbex at one. That's fine. Sprite Jet the one is another Sprite hit. So what, Blue and Jet are at one now? <clears throat> um, I think Sprite's going to have to undergo some changes, especially with Swamp Fog at one, too. But I, you want to know something? I still don't think Sprite's dead. As long as Sprite has Elf still in their arsenal. Oh, Blue's at two? Okay. I think with Sprite still, like, with, with Elf in their arsenal, they're fine. Elf's a really good card, I think people forget. Elf's a really good card. And I think Sprite alone will be able to do something. Especially, I think, um, Tri-Brigade Sprite has some support coming along the line, huh? We don't have Pit Knight early yet, which is something that would be really crazy to, uh, to build around that. And I think it's totally something cool. Ethan with St. Madix, my man, bro. How's it going, dude? Good to see you, bro. And Wartex, my man. Good to see you in the stream as well. We got early. We have Pit Knight early. Oh, we just got it? Oh, that's awesome. So I think that'll be the next morph for the deck. I think now we're looking at combating Cash Tira. That's our next goal. So that's all the limits. I think Sprite's far from dead. I think it'll just morph. Sorry, guys. I, I just had to schedule a uh, car inspection. How you going? <laughs> How you doing, Nimioto? I'm doing great, bro. Actually, fantastic. All right, to two. Blaster, Dry Ruler of Furnos is at two now. Didn't do anything at one. I don't expect it to do anything at two. It's cool that we just start to see these Dragon Wars come back, though. Pretty sick. I'm waiting to see Tidal. Imagine we see the day Tidal comes back. I think this, then you'll start seeing some crazy things with Tidal. Extra of the two is awesome as well. I like it. Think of it as another hit to flu. Isn't that funny? Like, why are, why are they hitting Extravagance? But I'm not, a, I'm not upset about it. I, most decks that play Extravagance are like back rows decks that I think are really frustrating to play against. So, uh, Labyrinth? Less Labyrinth, I guess? That'd be pretty good, right? Not really less Labyrinth. I still think you're going to see plenty of Labyrinth. Uh, Luster Pendulum at two. Was this at one or something? Did I miss something? Why is this card at two now? Swap Frog is basically just resource hit, and you still add Frog Engine the same way by adding Dupe Frog. Well, Swap Frog becomes itself and then a Reborn with Ronin Tonin, but it's not quite the same value because you can't Reborn it. It was at one? Okay, so this card was probably at one for OCG reasons. Sure. It'll come back to three next list. Nadir Servant's back to three, which is sick. I don't particularly think you'll see a lot of Dogmatica strategies come up, though. Maybe that's just me. I'm glad this card's at three, though. I think in uh, in a best-of-one scenario, this card could be really, really strong. With Garura also, like as Swolak says, that could be really interesting. I think in a best-of-one scenario, maybe you can make something work with this. Ancient Fairy Dragon at three. It's a rat, and it's fine. When can we have this in the TCG? Let me tell you. Gearsu, the Orcus Mech Knight. Can somebody verify? Isn't Orcus at full power? Is Orcus, like, maximum power playable? What was Gearsu at before? Was it at 2 and then it went to 3? Sans Mermaid. Okay, well, Mermaid... I don't even think Mermaid was really part of the Orcus strategy, I'd say. No, no, it was. It was full Orcus combo. I don't know how good this is, though. I, uh, I wish it was good. It probably isn't, though, right? All together, though, I think all these first hits are super, super awesome for the game. And uh, I think it removes some of the more frustrating things that newer players would see. Because you would see some of these dumb FTKs on lower ladder. And it's really depressing because that's the type of things that people talk about. The game's over in one turn. And the FTKs and stuff uh, really solidify that. Or like the, like super swing cards like that grass looks greener. Um, I still hope they do something about Maxi in the coming future. Because I do think a lot of people genuinely don't like it. I think the general public doesn't really like it. Um, I... Could care either way, I'm still going to play Yu-Gi-Oh, right? But um, I think it would be a really big deal if they did something with that card. Dragon Link, definitely top three. Dragon Link is crazy now. I also think Naturia Runic is going to be really, really cool to play. I think that's what I'm going to take up on ladder moving into the next season. I think that's going to be my deck. <clears throat> 